Your open controller can be reset to factory settings if it no longer functions reliably. The Restore DVD provided in the scope of delivery allows you to reset the original software, in other words, the operating system, the software controller, and WinCC runtime advanced. Your CFast card will contain all the data you need for initial commissioning following a system restore. You can carry out the system restore using the DVD and an external DVD drive, or you use the Restore DVD to create a bootable USB stick containing all necessary information in advance. Let us now have a look at the most important steps in the Restore process. Our open controller is switched off, and we plug our bootable USB stick containing the relevant data into the one remaining free USB port. As we will need to access the boot menu when starting up the open controller, we will have to manually enable the open controller keyboard, as it is disabled by default until a Windows start. When starting up the open controller, we hold the operating mode switch in the position MRES. Switch on the open controller and repeatedly press the F12 key on the keyboard to start the boot menu, as we can't see an image yet. In the boot menu, we select our USB stick as the boot medium. In the main menu, we select our existing hardware configuration. This means CPU1515SP PC only or CPU1515SP PC Plus with our WinCC Runtime Advanced. We select that here and can now select in the next step whether we want to recreate the entire CFast card or only the partition containing the system, for example, the C drive. We want to restore everything and continue to the next screen. Once the security screen is acknowledged, all data on the CFast card will now be deleted and the original software will be reinstated. 